Surbhi. I'm a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today, I'm going to show you how to find which API call is causing the rate exceeded error. Let's get started. After logging in to the AWS management console, navigate to the Cloud Trail console. Then select the Trails page and choose Create Trail. On the Create Trail page for trail name, enter a name for your trail. I would leave enable for all account in my organizations as it is because AWS organizations doesn't apply here. I have my bucket already created with name rate exceeded. So I'll choose use existing S3 bucket. I'll choose browse and then choose the bucket where I want the logs to get saved to. Note that the AWS cloud trail has the permissions to write to my bucket as defined by my bucket policy. If you don't have an existing bucket, you can create one through the CloudTrail console and that will set the required bucket permissions for you. You can choose to leave log file server-side encryption KMS enabled if you want the CloudTrail logs on Amazon S3 to be encrypted with your custom managed key instead of S3 managed key. I would disable it as my CloudTrail logs are encrypted with server-side encryption S3 by default. Leave the rest as default and choose next. On the Choose Log Events page, choose the event types that you want to log. I'll choose Management Events because I want both Read and Write events be logged. I'll leave this as is and choose Next. On the Review and Create page, choose Create Trail. As you can see, the trail is now created. Let's create an Amazon Athena table using the Cloud Trail console. Note that this requires that you are logged in with an AWS Identity and Access Management user or role with sufficient permissions to create tables in Athena. Choose Create Athena Table. Now use the down arrow to select the S3 bucket, which is rate exceeded for me, where the log files are stored. Note that the Athena table name will be auto-generated. Choose Create Table. As you can see, we have successfully created our Athena table. Let's now query the log file from the Athena console. For that, navigate to the Athena console and choose the new query tab. Copy and paste the following example query. Replace CloudTrail logs rate exceeded with your Athena table name and edit the event date and time based on your scenario. Now choose run query. You should be able to see the results of your query at the bottom of the page where you'll find all the rate exceeded API calls. The rate exceeded error would be seen here in the results section. The event name would tell you which API call caused the error. So now you know how to find which API call is causing the rate exceeded error by using Athena to query and filter the CloudTrail logs based on what you need. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.